on Pesky Penguin here. Sorry, I really haven't been around much. I've been working a lot. I haven't really had the desire to play much Minecraft. So this is not going to be a Minecraft video. This is actually how to change your external IP address. So as you can see, uh, my externals here. I probably blank out part of it. Um, and I'm in my router. So the precursor to doing this is you need to put your modem into bridge mode. So you'll have a modem from your internet service provider. Um, mine's an Eris. So essentially, you'll just need to Google your mo uh, modem um, model number and how to put it in bridge mode. And when you put it in a bridge mode, you want to make sure you turn the firewall off and you turn the Wi-Fi off before you put it into bridge mode. Because once you put it into bridge mode, um, you're not going to be able to access it. So you'll need the modem to be in bridge mode, and then you'll need a router. That router will have to be able to do what's called MAC address cloning. So, you know, most of the newer Linksys routers do it, some Netgears do it, uh, my Asus here does it. Um, but what you're really looking for is what's called MAC address cloning, because <coughs> no, excuse me. Um, as long as you do not have a static IP from your internet service provider, so uh, Comcast, Xfinity, Time Warner, Spectrum, whatever, um, as long as you get DHCP and not a static IP address, this will work. Um, because basically once your modem is in bridge mode, the internet provider is actually going to look directly to the MAC address of your router rather than your modem to assign you an IP address. So what MAC address cloning does um, on this specific router, it's under here, and I have this MAC clone. So if I do that and just click MAC clone, it makes it the same um, MAC address as my computer. Now what I like to do is go in and just change a digit. Okay, so we're going to make that 47 and hit apply. Wait, 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 wait. And you'll see, if we go back to the main page, something's not working right, okay? Because I need to reboot. So what I'm gonna do uh, real quick is, and in this order, I'm going to turn my router off, and then I'm going to reboot my modem, turn my router back on, and then I'm sorry, I'm going to turn my router off, I'm going to unplug my modem, then I'm going to turn my router back on, and then plug my modem back in. So give me one second to do that. Alright, I just did that, um, waiting for everything to boot back up here. So, things to note, um, this will change your external IP. I'll show you that it's completely different. Um, to to a degree, um, but I, I need to stress the fact that you need to have a modem that you can put into bridge mode, so you need to be able to log into the modem from your internet service provider, and you need a router that does um, MAC address cloning. I would also strongly recommend that it has a firewall feature. Um, that way, you, essentially it gives this router all of the power, and the modem just acts as pass-through. That's all it is. Um, so when uh, your ISP starts pinging your uh, modem, it's actually going to ping your router and check its MAC address and apply an IP address against that rather than the modem they uh, provided you. So let's give this a second here for everything to turn back on. Let me look up the modem here. Yep, let's go in. Just waiting on my router here. All right, so we're back online. So if I refresh here, I'll have to log back in. You will see that my external IP address is completely different. So use it for whatever you feel like using it for. If you ever want to know how to change your IP address, that's the easiest way to do it. Again, if you get a static IP from your internet service provider, um, that will not work, um, or this will not work. This will only work if you have access to the modem's administration panel um, and you have a secondary router that you want to use to do your Wi-Fi, 
um, your firewall, and of course it has to have MAC address cloning. So make sure to do your research before you just go out and buy a router and come back and say, why didn't it work? And then and I'll tell you, you didn't check. <laughs> so, and you should be able to look up any model number. Um, it should tell you how to get to uh, MAC address cloning, if it's available, that kind of thing. Like I said, all you got to do is just change a couple digits uh, in here. The first time you do it, anytime you hit the clone button, it's going to clone it to your computer's MAC address. And then you can actually go in here and manually change these hexadecimal keys. So as you do it, you can change like this 9 to a 0. Then next time you want to change your IP, change it to a 1. Hit apply, reboot, etc., etc. And every single time, you will get a new IP address. So uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll probably do some more computer vids on this kind of stuff. If there's anything you guys want to know how to do, let me know, and uh, I'll see if, one, I know how to do it, <laughs> and two, if I can make a good video out of it. So have a good one, everyone. Later.